Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another tutorial, and today's gonna be showing y'all how to make uh, Aiden Ross um, live thumbnail. Like the Aiden live thumbnails, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make that. So, with all that being said, let's straight into the tutorial. If the video helps you out, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel, man. With all that being said, let's just straight into the banger. You already know what it is. Alright, so the first thing you wanna do is go into Photoshop, go to File New, and go to 1280 by 720. And you can pause the video if you wanna see these settings, but just hit Create. And after that, you wanna hit Control V on your uh, screen to get the image you copy and i didn't show y'all yet uh that yet so you just go on google type in aiden ross and some images should pop up i'm just gonna use this one so i'm gonna right click copy the image come over here and hit Control v and just click this and resize it and what we're gonna do now is just make this bigger and we're gonna make the image right here about this size right here so now that we have the image that size, what you want to do is hit P on your keyboard to go to the pen tool and you want to start cutting out the image. So yeah, and you just simply go around like this and I'm going to have a video down below on how to cut out images, but I'll be back with you all once I'm done cutting the image out. All right, so once you cut out the entire image, just right click, make selection, then hit OK and you just want to right click, select inverse and you want to just hit this match right here. Now, if you feel like you messed up any part of the image, you just um we can fix that later matter of fact let's get into the camera raw. so what you want to do is click on this go to filter camera raw filter and you really should add this before you start cutting out but i'm gonna just show you how to make the image pop off rip because that's a big thing with these type of thumbnails so what you want to do is firstly uh up the exposure i mean you really can up up it to about 65 um your blacks you want to up that also whites up that shadows up that highlights up that and your texture you want to put that on about 25 and you want to go to noise reduction down here and you want to put that to about 40 you can really do 45 on this then once you get done you just want to hit ok and you will see the image pop it will pop so much to where you go down here and add brightness and contrast and you really don't have to add any of that so we'll just leave that image how it is so now what we want to do is get this image right here and we want to hit Control J about two times because this is going to come in handy. And what we want to do is uh we want to create two new layers. We want to hold Control, then hold Control again to uh, get the layers and put them like this. So we have two layers like this. So now we want to cut out uh, the upper body, like the neck up right here. And I'm going to do that and I'll be back with y'all. And now I'll show you what I mean when I'm done cutting it out because you might not understand what I mean. Create a mask after you get done cutting that out should look like this right here and now what we should and that's a good thing that we have a mask so we can fix it so now what we want to do is cut out this uh, little hand right here and you have to be very precise when cutting this out so when you cut out this hand make sure you take your time and try to get as much as the hand you can inside so just take your time and cut this out and i'll be back with y'all when i cut it when i get done so once you get done cut out your hand it should look something like this and this is better than last time i cut out my hand but now that you've done this, you see everything will come together. And now what we want to focus on is change the color of the shirt. And to do that, we'll just go down here, go to hue and saturation and create a clipping mask. And this is a big thing for the eight and live thumbnails. And like every thumbnail, you have a different color shirt. So just do that, create a clipping mask, then go right here and colorize it. And we will change this to the color purple and up the saturation. The more you up the saturation, the more the color will pop. So just up the saturation a good amount. And you might say, oh, that doesn't look that good. So now what we want to do is go to this neck right here, create a new layer, then create a clipping mask. And you want to go to the uh, brush over here and go to the color black. And you just want to go around with it like this after creating that clipping mask. And it should look a little better. Um, the neck should look a little better right there. So you can add it, take it off, and you can see the difference. But... Yeah, these are my brush settings right here. Hardness is on zero. And that's pretty much how you do that right there. So next thing we want to do is group these uh, right here. We just want to hold shift and then go all the way to the bottom to get those. Double click on the group and we want to add an inner shadow to this. And we want to put some distance on it. And then we want to add some size and then we want to just up the opacity. And you should come out with an effect that looks like that. So after this, what you want to do is go to this layer right here with the mask. You want to hit Control J on it once more, and you want to right click this right here and delete the layer mask. So you have the background, and now with the background, what you would want to do is go to Blur. And to make it better, you can right click convert to the Smart Object, 
then go to blur gaussian blur and you can set it to about uh let's say we do four let's just do four okay so now that you said the four we will go up here and we will go to vibrance and saturation and we will add some vibrance and some saturation to the image right and after that we'll go to brightness and contrast and we we'll also add some contrast to make it look better too so now that we've done this what you want to do is go behind here or behind the image and you want to take this out of the group the uh gaussian blur thing you want to take that out of the group and you want to create a new layer and hit on your keyboard to go to the brush and change the color picker to white and you just want to tap behind the image with this right here and you want to do it real subtle you don't want to do it way too hard so something like this should be okay so after that we want to set this to linear dodge up the opacity then hit control j and then go to overlay and set the overlay up the opacity on that and after this what we want to do is create a new layer above the um, aiden ross image we want to do the same thing but make the brush smaller and go beside him with the brush like this right here go to screen and then you can lower or up the opacity to make it look better it's just up to you so after this we want to create another layer um then create a clipping mask onto the group and we want to click around the group with the white color to make it look like that light is actually hitting aiden ross so once you do that it should look a little better kind of something like this right here and you can take it off and put it on to see how it looks and you can also try linear dodge to get a better effect out of it and after that you want to hit control s to say your work and we will move on with the thumbnail all right so after this what i would do is open up this uh pack and i'll be back with y'all once i open it all right so this is the pack right here you feel me the best irl gfx pad you can find and yeah i made it go check that out but once we get in here we want to look for some confetti so we will use uh confetti number one hit control c on it and come over to the thumbnail and hit control v and put it behind um the glow we just added right and you want to keep it at this size right here so after this what you want to do well actually you can make it a little smaller probably about uh this size right here and after this what you want to do is right click convert to a smart object and you want to go to filter blur and firstly you want to do gaussian blur and keep it like this and after this you can go to filter blur and motion blur also if you think that will look better but i'm just gonna do gaussian blur on this right here and we can keep that down there and hit control s to say it work now that we're done with that what we want to do is go to brightness and contrast down here create a clipping mask onto this group and you want to up the brightness on it along with that you want to come down here and you want to create a clipping mask to the background and you want to up the brightness on that also but don't make it too bright and then you want to do this on the confetti also and after this i'll see what else we can make this to do to uh to make this thumbnail pop and we're basically almost finished all right so next thing we'll get is this emoji out of my pack so you just want to hit control c on it then come over here and hit control v and after this what you want to end up doing is uh putting it below the little dots right here and you want to set the emoji right here and what you want to do after this is just right click copy this layer style right click and paste the layer style just like the inner shadow layer style and what you can also do is double click it and go to drop shadow add like a little drop shadow to the image up your size a little bit and have the emoji right here what you can do is just go to the uh, horizontal type tool really quickly and type 1m and use uh, the font that you prefer if you need this font look in the description below but you can just type this double click it go to scroll and set the color to black and put the size on let's see uh we would do about eight on the sides and we put this above the glow and uh, sit about about right here and then set the emoji about right there and then after you do that it's pretty much how you make the thumbnail now i will show you all how to make it pop so you just want to hold shift on that top layer and then click on the bottom layer and then hit uh control j on that then hit control e then hit m on your keyboard to go to the rectangular mark you tool and you want to drag this across the whole image and hit control j then right click convert to smart object and you just want to simply go to filter and camera off filter once again 
and I will show y'all what we're gonna add. Now, what we do when we get in here, I will go to this preset number 57. This is what I use for all my thumbnails. But instead of me not showing it, I will show it to y'all. And what I will do is take this red primary down, take the shadows down, uh, and take the green primary down. And you can pause the video to copy any of these settings right here. And we we'll just hit OK once we're done. And you will see the difference in the thumbnail like that. So now after this, what I want to do is go to uh, filter and camera filter once again. And I will show y'all what I want to do to this thumbnail after I get back in here. All right, so once I'm in here, what I will end up doing is going to my texture and we will set this to 25 to make the thumbnail pop even more. After this, we'll go down here and put on noise, noise reduction to about 30 and then put the sharpening to about 115. We will up the uh, noise reduction depending on how good it looks with the sharpening. But you can take this off and turn it back on to uh, see how it looks with it on and with it off. So after we've done that, we can just hit OK. And then you can see a difference in the thumbnail just by going to your history and going to the layer visibilities. And you will see a big difference in the thumbnail. Just like that right there. But you just want to create a new layer, hit B on your keyboard to go to the brush, and you just want to select some of these colors and then click with them. And um, what we'll do after that is go to screen or linear dodge is up to you. And we will lower the opacity to about 15. And after this, what we would do is go to file, export, export as, and I will name this Aiden Ross practice thumbnail and just hit export Aiden Ross thumbnail and that's pretty much how you make one of those thumbnails if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like and subscribe it's me my dragon peace out and if you want to check out that channel I mean check out that pack it's on my channel you feel me let's get it man we on the road to 5k